The average YouTube channel with over 1,000 subscribers has posted over 150 videos. But does this mean that if you upload 150 videos, you automatically get 1,000 subscribers? No, you can reach 1,000 subscribers much faster, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some secrets of how you can do that. You probably know that you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time to get monetized. So let's talk about how you can reach 1,000 subscribers. So, most channels out there have a 1-3% to subscriber ratio. So, if you hit 33,000 views, and that's a 3% ratio, that's all you need to hit 1,000 subscribers. 33,000 views. I'm telling you right now, you can do that. That's 10 videos getting 3,300 views each. Or 33 videos getting 1,000 views each. Or 100 videos getting 330 views each. See, this is so much easier than you thought. So now that we've broken this down into a math equation, it's so much easier in your head to be able to get to a thousand subscribers. The question is, how can I produce great quality content that is going to actually get the views? Because producing the quality content is what's going to actually get you the viewer to subscriber ratio as high as possible. You want to aim for 3%, but if you aim even higher, imagine you'll be able to get a thousand subscribers, maybe within, within even like 10 videos, who knows? That might be unlikely, but you might be able to hit it, who even knows? But despite what some people think out there, there are proven tips that YouTube channels out there, the top YouTube channels do, that you can do yourself. So I'm going to break this down right now for you. So there are three steps. Let's start with step number one. Step one, make sure you're in a niche where there are over 20 channels with over 100,000 subscribers. This is important. Because if there are that many channels that are doing that well, we can definitely produce better quality content than them and it proves that the system already works, which moves me on to step number two. Model what works. Make a list of 33 videos in your niche that have over 100,000 views. You can definitely do that right now. Because if we can produce 33 videos that do just as well as 1% of the videos we've already mentioned, we can definitely hit the 1,000 subscriber goal. To find these videos, go to YouTube and type in your niche and use the search filter to find the most viewed videos in that niche in the past few months. And then you'll be able to easily find those videos that you can replicate and create yourself and improve on that can actually spread your channel out there even further. For example, you can take the best aspects of each video, but you don't want to just take the whole video. Take the best aspects that you see from the videos. So when you're doing the search that I just told you to do, find the top three videos in your niche and write down the best things about those videos. Trust me, you can even check the comments and see what people are saying about it. And you can even use YouTube's most newly featured part where you can see the um, most replayed feature across the video. It actually tells you which bit is most replayed. So you can use that to your advantage when creating your own content. But remember, thumbnails are also really important. So make sure that you get that correct because when you should promote your videos, people aren't going to click on them if the thumbnails aren't good. And then YouTube probably aren't going to promote your videos anymore if the click through rate isn't high. Okay, now we're going to do a thumbnail test. I'm going to show you two thumbnails and you have to tell me which one you would click on. So here's number one and here's number two. Now, one of these, you probably know already in your head which one you distinctively would click on. Thumbnail number one got over 246,000 views in over a month, whereas thumbnail number two only got over 700 views in six months. So yeah, you know which one was performing best. So use that to your advantage. Obviously the quality of the video plays a big part in it, but obviously the thumbnail, clicking on the actual video in the first place, is what's actually going to get people to click on your video. But then when they actually see the content, that's what keeps them staying. And, you know, you need to get both correct. So just in case you don't know yet, thumbnail number one is much better than thumbnail number two because the text is kept at a minimum. It's also way bigger and easier to read. There is contrast between the text and the background, which again makes it easier to read. Primary elements are kept to a minimum and it's just easy to understand when you're looking at it, whereas thumbnail number two just doesn't really get that vibe when you're looking at it. And that's one of the key things about thumbnails, you want to make it easy to understand as much as possible when you're looking at it within a second or two. Someone should be able to understand what your video is within a second, literally whilst looking at it. And you know, all it takes is a split second for someone to click on it when they're in the YouTube algorithm, whether that be recommended, homepage, or wherever your video is being displayed via the YouTube network. For example, when you type in top 10 tech on YouTube, you can easily see the thumbnails are easy to understand and within a second, you know that you'd probably want to click on one of those videos. So here's a quick checklist for when you're making thumbnails. Here we are, let's get into it. Make everything big and taking up most of the thumbnail. Use three or less primary elements. Keep the blank space to a minimum unless it's to highlight the object. If you do use text, keep it to an absolute minimum and make it easy and big to read. Use contrast and borders around the text if possible to highlight it. 
Use bright colours like yellow, green, red, that sort of colours, purple even, or pink. And model thumbnails that work in your niche already. It's important to see what's working in your niche because some other things might work in the tech niche, but other things in the health niche might not work as well as in the tech niche, if that makes sense. So you want to see what works and adjust accordingly. One way of checking if you've already got videos uploaded is to check the click-through rate and see what videos are performing the best so you can replicate what's doing well and double down on that. Which brings me to step number three, analyze your analytics after posting some videos. This is very important. Trust me, you do not want an audience retention graph looking something like this. Trust me, this is not what you want at all. You want people to watch your videos for as long as possible and that's what audience retention is. You wanna keep people watching your video for as long as possible. Let me say it again. Keep people watching your video for as long as possible. YouTube's goal is to keep people on the platform. If you can do that and successfully get someone to watch another video after your video, and hopefully it's your video after that video that they've already watched, in that case, you will send YouTube a good signal and YouTube will push your videos even further into the algorithm than it already is, which hopefully it's in there somehow already. So let's talk about why some people click off the video after a few seconds. You don't want this to happen because this will ruin your attention completely and send a bad signal to YouTube. So it happens because of many reasons, such as having an intro in your video. This can really damage it. Just get straight into the video. Look at what someone like Mr. Beast does, for example. He creates videos and gets straight into it, no messing about. You know what you're getting straight away from the title and thumbnail. You click on it and this relates back to the content with the title and thumbnail because both of them are linked and they both just work hand in hand and no one's sitting there listening to you talking for two minutes waiting for you to get into the actual video. This is gonna kill your attention so much. Make sure you deliver what is promised in your title and thumbnail. This is super important because you don't want someone to just be clicking on the video and then being like, this doesn't not do what the title and thumbnail suggest. That's gonna turn away your viewers and in return, it's not gonna give you a great retention rate to be honest, but your click-through rate might be high because of the title and thumbnail is maybe clickbait, but when they actually get to watching the video, they're just, it's just not gonna send a good signal to YouTube. Both of them have to be in a good percentage wise. Don't be telling people to subscribe straight away at the beginning of the video. Make sure that you just tell them after you provide some value to them or they've got what they've came for from the video because you know, it's just not gonna go down well if you just try and beg them to subscribe straight away. You don't have to be begging for it. You can just get that straight after, you know, the actual content itself and what you're trying to deliver. Top 15s is a great channel that gets straight into the video with less of an introduction. So let's get into three top secret tips that you can do to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible by publishing less videos. Secret one, asking viewers to subscribe. Do not ask viewers to subscribe right at the beginning of the video. People won't subscribe if they haven't got any value yet. Take a look at who you're subscribed to on the YouTube platform. You probably have only subscribed to them because they've given you value of some sort, whether that be information, entertainment, you know, that sort of thing. You don't want to just tell people to subscribe with them getting nothing from you. They're not going to do that. So what I would say is maybe give value, say six minutes of content out there giving value or, you know, entertainment, and then ask people to subscribe because then you've actually done something for them. But don't take so long asking people to subscribe. You know, you want to ask in good time because people will subscribe in much higher percentages if you don't rush into it. Don't get it twisted. Asking to subscribe will dramatically improve your subscriber to viewer ratio, but you need to ask in the correct timing. If you ask straight away, no one's going to do it. They'll get bored and click off your video. But, you know, like I said, if you do it six minutes in or a few minutes in or something like that, someone will more likely to subscribe because they're seeing the subscribe thing there and they're being hooked onto the video. Secret number two, ask to comment. Usually after the first few minutes into the video, I try and ask people to comment down below something because then it dramatically increases the engagement on the video. You can say something like, I will personally try and comment and reply back to every single person that comments on the video. That's what I've done before on my own channel and it works really well because new viewers that come to your channel will wanna comment right away and you replying to them makes them wanna do it even more. So if you're seeing this right now, comment I subscribed and the Tube Mastery team will get back to you. Secret number three, custom subscribe link. So you wanna put this text at the end of your YouTube channel link and you can shorten that link using Bitly or Rebrandly. You can put this link in your description, your channel bio, your channel description, your channel comments, your pinned comment. You can do many things with it to get people to subscribe because putting that in the channel link gets people prompted to subscribe straight away and you won't have to ask them because it will just come up. So now we've told you a few secrets on what to do, here's what not to do. Do not buy YouTube subscribers or do sub for sub. The subs that you buy or that you get through sub to sub won't watch your video and will actually hurt your video or chan and channel by doing that because they're just not gonna wanna watch your content and it will just damage it. You only want people subscribing that are actually interested into your content because otherwise, what's the point? All we're doing here is looking out for your channel. We want to make sure that you have legitimate subscribers on your channel that will actually watch your content and love it and become a fan. So here's a quick checklist of what you should take from this video. Post at least 30 videos before deciding on what to do next. 
You want to make sure those 30 videos are modeling what's going well in your niche. Analyze your analytics and double down on what works and do not give up early. Trust me, do not give up early. You can do this. I believe in you. So to conclude, there are many top channels out there that upload hundreds of videos and they get to where they are eventually. Do not give up early. Remember, there's a person behind every single channel and you can ask yourself if they can do it. Why can't I? If you produce good content, you will grow. Trust me, just try it out and you'll improve your content over time. The great thing about the action checklist that I shared is that you can easily reach a thousand subscribers if you follow it. And, you know, I believe in you, so I know you can do it. If you're producing similar content to what's working in your niche and you actually follow up on that, then I don't see why you can't actually grow a channel yourself. Type the word yes to affirm in the comments and you will get there, trust me. Now check out this video over here so you can see how to get over 4,000 hours of watch time on YouTube so you can get monetized. It's full of great information. I'll see you there.